Hello everybody, and welcome to Warehouse 18. Today, I'm working on a little pet project where I turn an old cigar box into a paint case for my paintbrushes and paints. I do some more hammer painting on the side, and uh, when I travel, I don't have a good case to put my paints and brushes into. So usually they just end up in a, like a plastic bag, um, which as you can imagine, it's not exactly the safest or the sturdiest uh, carrying compartment that you could possibly be put into. So I wanted something that was a little bit better and looked a little bit nicer. Uh, so I chose this old scar box that I have. So to start this project off, I had to take a bunch of measurements and basically draw out my plan for what I wanted the inside of this cigar box to look like. My idea ended up being that I was going to have three compartments. The first compartment was going to be one that held the actual model that I was working on. The second compartment that was going to be right next to it was going to be where it was going to hold all the paintbrushes, and then the bottom one was going to be where I was going to hold all the paints that I was currently using for that model. The wood support at the bottom of the case was going to be one with grooves in it, so that way when I placed the paints in the actual box, they would have a, they would have a specific place to go and they wouldn't move around inside the box. As you can see here, these small pieces of wood that I'm cutting are going to be the actual supports that are going to divide the compartments up inside the paint case. I didn't have any pieces of wood lying around that were the actual length of the entire cigar box, so I ended up having to take those smaller pieces of wood that you saw me cut before and glue them together to make the one long one. In this shot, I'm drilling pilot holes using my Dremel drill press. Those pilot holes then made it easier for me to use my actual hand drill uh, and drill out using those, those much larger bits to get those bigger holes in order to let those paints sit in that uh, wood support. At this point you can see that I was having a little bit of trouble drilling this one hole specifically out because the pilot hole, when I was drilling down it broke and then uh, the drill bit that I have here was just kind of sliding out. So I ended up skipping that for now and then coming back to it and using the bandsaw that I have to make a, a general hole that I could then uh, sand out and make like the rest of the holes. After I had all the wood supports cut out, uh, I wanted to actually make the box look good, so I decided that I was going to put a leather base at the bottom of the cigar box. So when I was taking the uh, measurements of the leather, I realized that I didn't have a right angle tool, and it was pretty necessary to make sure that I didn't, I didn't make any wonky angles uh, so that my fit inside the cigar box was going to be pretty close. Uh, so I ended up grabbing the closest thing to me, which was a Eric Clapton CD case. So this next part, obviously fairly easy, it was just to glue down that leather base onto the uh, cigar box. I'm just using some super glue and just making sure that all the corners are nice and tight and uh, I don't get any weird bumps in the base of the cigar box. After I glued down the leather base, I did a quick test just to fit all of my pieces together, make sure they did, and once I did, it was time to start gluing them together. So as you can see here, gluing all the pieces together and placing them inside the box. I also ended up using a red mahogany wood stain on all of the inner pieces and compartments just so that it would uh, give a little contrast to the rest of the box and it would kind of match with that leather base. In this shot, I'm just making sure that the paints fit nicely and snugly inside that, uh, in those grooves that I placed in the, in the bottom uh, compartment. Um, but I realized that the tops of the paints were still able to move around a decent amount. So I decided that I was going to put some 
uh, separations between each uh, paint bottle. Um, and I did that by cutting some more smaller pieces of wood that would just fit in that middle right angle there. Um, so that, you know, they wouldn't move around anymore. And there you have it. Finished product. Didn't really expect it to turn out as good as it did. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition! But I'm definitely proud of the result. Um, if you guys would like to check out more, please go to my YouTube channel. Um, I also do some more hammer painting, um, as I mentioned before. Uh, that's on an Instagram that I have. I'll link all of that stuff in the description below. And if you'd like to see more, uh, let me know. You know, leave comments, like, subscribe. Please do whatever you can to help me out. And thank you very much for watching.